What's going on guys, and welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero. We're moving on to the next part, where I want to focus on base building. I wanted to do it last episode, but we got sidetracked and all that kind of stuff. So, let's just kind of continue, and remember if you're enjoying the video to like, subscribe, and also leave a comment, even if it's just an emoji, so. We're moving on, and like I said, I want to do some base building today, because I feel like it's a necessity now. And we need the storage, and we're coming across a lot more items, and... Yeah, but also, whilst I'm grabbing the supplies for the actual um, stuff for the base, like the titanium and the quartz and all this kind of stuff, because I'm going to guess it's going to be the same building materials we're going to need. Um, I want to maybe look for the storage module as I'm doing it for my sea truck, but also get the aquarium built for my sea truck as well which will be kind of cool so we can get the fish in there and then we can kind of grab the fish from out of that and cook them in there you know what i mean but it also gives me a chance to put the moon pool down and um the modification table so we can unlock the thermal blade and some other cool stuff okay so i've just arrived back at the little pod and i want to see if there's anything that we can grab whilst we're here and I think... Oh, the propulsion cannon. That'd be useful because we need that for the... Um, that big massive crash ship that we saw last episode, right? So let's quickly make that. Um, but also... Also, also, we need the laser gun. So we need some silicone rubber, which... Can I make here, actually? No, it's titanium. I need the Crete vine clusters. So let's grab some of these. Wait, is there... Oh, my inventory's full. Damn it! Is there anything on me? Actually, let's... Oh, thanks! But wait, wait! Hold! Hold, please, monkey! Monkey, please hold! Wait! My inventory's full. I can't take them from you, buddy. Um... Just... <sighs> wait, I'm making room. Monkey! Monkey! Okay, he didn't give them to me. Anyway, let's grab another one of them. And then head back inside, and then we should be able to make our silicone rubber and then we should have the laser cutter as well at least we'll have that on us but i'm gonna leave that inside my sea truck oh, I need oh i've just dropped a crystalline sulfur you absolute spoon bits bloody hell i didn't think i need a <sighs> i need sulfur and if i'm not mistaken crystalline sulfur should be in this biome i'm pretty sure i've seen a lot of it on the surface I know we can get it from, like, them weird screaming fish things in the caves, but first thing, it's trying to find them caves. And I'm pretty sure I've seen a lot of sulfur around here. It's just a matter of looking and, and staying away from these guys. I can't remember now if it was this biome. No, that's the big guy. That's the big guy. We're not going anywhere near that guy. He's teeth are the same size of my goddamn sea truck. Well, sea spoon. Ah! Oh! Never mind! Never mind! Holy f it's man! Oh, I'm seeing stars. I'm seeing stars. He was literally right behind me. Jesus. So, inside the beacon location, I did disable that one. So, he's just give us artifact, artifact Q59, which is a new one. So I've disabled that one, which is the one we went to last time. And now I just need to find sulfur around here. And I'm pretty sure there was. I'm guessing I was mistaken. But I've actually hurt my throat after buddy screaming that much now. And I want to stay away from him, to be honest. Because he did a lot. Oh, sulfur! Never mind. I was correct. I was correct. 
Grab that. Get back in... Wait. No, I didn't want to disable your... You blood. I didn't want to disable the truck. I wanted to jump inside. And then I can go back here and then... Make my... Tool. Let's go. Wait. What was I trying... I was making the wrong recipe. I was trying to make a repair. Oh... I swear to God. I swear to God. I need goddamn diamonds. Which is way down in the uh, twisted tree vine place, right? We found loads down there, so... Time to take a trip down... Take a trip down there. I don't believe myself sometimes. I've literally just got back to the, the, the little hub... And I've already got sulfur already in here, which is kind of... I should have checked my own storage beforehand. But also, in this one... I've also got creep vine seed clusters. So all of that was just kind of a waste of time. But you guys got to saw me get eaten by a massive... Shark thing. Whatever it was. Hope you enjoyed that for your entertainment. I just want to drop this. I don't want that in there. It's right next to my base. I don't need to store these. I say base, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. But also, I've got diamonds in here. Um, I've got diamonds in this locker. So we can use these diamonds for the laser cutter. So let's get inside. And we should be able to make the laser cutter now. Where is it? Tools. Laser cutter. There we go. Bada bing, bada bosh. And then I can climb into the sea spoon. And then store my... Um, Seat fluid Store my needed. propulsion cannon in there for when we need it. Um, because my items are taking up so much room right now. But also, I need to quickly make some water because I'm dehydrated right now. So let's grab that. Uh, hydrate. I need to get some more. And I've also got my other tools in here. A beacon in here. A couple more batteries. Which I do need to possibly make some more. Or have them ready my inventory here because I'm about to run out of supplies and I've got so much stuff here. We definitely need to start looking into base building because we've got so much more supplies than than I can literally hold and I'm literally starting to dump them now. Actually, let's put my power cells in here because putting the power cells in here, you know, my sea truck, my sea spoon is, is using power cells so I might as well leave them here, right? But what does the aquarium need? What do we need for this? Plus steel, wiring kit, and enameled glass. We need two wiring kits, which I believe is just two silver, I think. And plus steel ingots, and enameled glass. I can't remember the enameled glass. I know we checked what it was last time. What is enameled glass? Enameled glass. So the advanced wiring kit, was it? No. Was it two wiring kits? Which is going to be four silver ore. And then I also need a plus steel ingot, which is going to need require one titanium ingot and two lithium, which is the lithium we got last round. I remember collecting that. But the enameled glass is glass and diamond, which I've just utilized. So we need two diamond, two glass. Let's make a titanium ingot, which means we can make the plus steel ingot. So let's get that done. Let me also... Go into here, go into blueprints, and I've got that pinned. Was it two advanced wiring kits? I don't think it was. Aquarian. It was two wiring kits, so I do I need four silver altogether. So let's let's pin that recipe, right? Uh so yeah, we need two enamel glass, and so we need two silver. And what do I need for glass the, the glass again? What was it? So just two glass. And I need diamond. Have I got any diamond left in... Wait, where's the store? Here. I've got one. We need one more diamond. Any in here? And we need one more silver as well. One, two, three silver in there. Do I have any silver in here? I don't. So we need to go and get a silver. We need to go and get a diamond. And whilst I'm in that diamond area, I'm going to check if the storage module's down there. 
the additional storage module, which is a lot further down. We didn't have the seed truck, the sea spoon, last time we went down there. But uh, my items are pretty full. Let me store all this titanium because I've got way too much of it right now. Store all of that in there. Store that in there. Store my lead in there. We've got a bit more room now. Okay. As long as I've got... We need to get some quartz. We need to get silver and diamonds. So let's head down. But it's where the big squid sharks are. I'm okay with them now. They just kind of freak me out when you turn around and the tentacles are in your face. And to be honest, I think the next artifact is down here as well. So that might be something we can quickly passively grab whilst we're down here. If I'm heading in the right direction. Yeah, here we go. We just need to kind of go deeper and deeper and deeper. All right, here it is. So I need to head straight down here. And hopefully we can find the storage module for our... Oh, there's a PDA. A C truck log 2. Cheese on a cracker. Saw me. Managed to eject the cargo modules and hide. I'm sitting here with the lights off, sweating through my shirt. I'm not going to get pooped out of the back end of a sea monster to save Altera some money. Manuel, not going to be happy. Not one bit. It's the fabricator one. I thought it was the storage. We've already got the fabricator one. I'm hoping the storage is down here. Okay, that's a sound I recognize. When it's a sound I don't recognize, it freaks me out a little bit. Oh, diamond. There we go. There's the one diamond I needed. Might as well grab a couple whilst I'm here. But also, carry on looking around to see if there is storage module. If it is in this biome, I could... Oh, that's the fabricator. We've already found that. I don't need any more titanium yet. I'll grab some lead, though. What's that? Hydrothermal vent. More diamond. Storage module. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, yeah. I've never said that before. Ignore me. <laughs> Wait, was that the last piece we needed? Uh, blueprints. Uh, storage module. It is. It is. So we just need the wiring kit and three lead and one plus steel. Oh, we need to make one plus steel. That's fine. I think we can do all of these. Oh my god, I'm getting sidetracked again, and the base thing is going to get pushed to next episode, isn't it? I can already see it coming. I can already see it coming. And then you guys in the comments will be going, Bits, make a base, for God's sake. I know I'm trying to, but my brain is going, Woo! It's going on a little trip. There's too many things. Nope. <coughs> no! No! Stop! Bloody things, man. Okay. Bloody hell, man. Let's grab some more lead whilst we're down here if we can find some. Just stay away from the tentacle things. There's no blood of fish down here and I'm looking for more lead. Okay, let's just kind of get out of here. Oh. Let's kind of just get out of here. Okay. He's following me. He's following me. That was one way to get out, wasn't it? Woo! One way to get out. Nice try, buddy. Do you mind? I think I might have actually left some water in my um, in my reserve pack here, in, in my back. Let's have a look. Did I leave any water in here? I didn't. I did not. Which means I need bladder fish. And then I can make some filtered water. And then we can drink the filtered Vital water. Stabilizing. And then try and... Oh, there's no silver in there. And maybe... Silver! Okay, so now I can make both wiring kits. Which is what we needed. For the aquarium. And then all I need... I'm going to make another titanium ingot. Because we do need another plasteel ingot for the storage module. Because in the blueprints, we just need the enameled glass now. And for the storage, we just need three lead. Which I believe we've got three lead at the drop pod. And the enameled glass, we're going to need some glass. Right? How do we make enameled glass again? I'm sure I've already mentioned this one time this, this episode. Enameled glass. I've got it pinned. Uh, I just need two glass now. And I need more lead. And I need a diamond, which I've just grabbed. So I just need to find glass. So I need to find quartz. 
Which I know where to get them from. Grab you. And then I can make some glass. Which means we should be, make, be able to make some enameled glass. Let's make as much glass as we can, to be honest. Because we're going to bloody need it. Which means I can now make enameled glass. I, ca I can't remember how many I needed. I needed two for the aquarium. Oh, it says it up there. I need, to, I need to look at my pin thing. So now we can make the aquarium. But can I make the storage module? What did I need for the storage module? Storage. I need three lead now. That is it. Literally three lead. And I should just be able to get lead from these, right? Yes. Okay, so we just need to find more of the rocks. Two. One more. Come on. Three in a row. Three in a row. Damn it. Titanium. I won't be saying that when I need to build my base when I need all the titanium, you know? Come on. One more, one more, one more. Damn it. More titanium. Come on. Jeez. Yay, finally. Bloody hell, I've been spending like 10 minutes trying to find that piece. Right, so after much exploring, we should be out... Well, well sh I should be able to build them both now. We can. Sea truck storage module and the aquarium module. So let's build the storage. And then we've also got the aquarium, which is kind of cool. So we can kind of store fish in there. And then if I'm ever needing water or anything, I can just put a bladder fish out of it or a peeper or whatever form of edible food. And now I've just got to grab this and then I touch it onto my spoon. And boom. It's a little bit longer. Oh, I need one more wiring kit. I need one more bloody wiring kit. Well, I guess time to quickly check out this. Wow, there's quite a few locket. Whoa. Okay. So we've got quite a few storage containers in here. I like. Which means we can grab loads of stuff for the base, store it in here, and then find a good base location and start kind of building what we need to. I just now need to get more bloody silver, which I'm going to come back into this biome, which I kind of want to stay away from the big guy and find these rocks here. I, can't, I keep forgetting what they're called, the Argentine crops, because these have silver in, and it's near enough 100%, so hopefully this one has it as well. Oh, no. Stay away. Come on, give me silver. Yes. Perfect. So now I can make the additional... What's it called? Wiring kit. So I can quickly make that. And now I can build the aquarium. Bay thing. Attachment. Thing. And then just attach this onto here. And bada bing, bada bosh. We have now got a bit of a serpent. It's getting larger and larger, I'm not going to lie. And now we have this. So I just literally just put the fish in there, right? I can literally just put fish in here. But I've got to go out there and grab them. This is not so bad. Is there a description of... I'm guessing it's just a normal... Attachable sea truck module that collects live specimens from the external... <gasps> Wait. It automatically collects them? That's what I'm kind of getting from that. It's automatic... Wait. How? Maybe like the grav trap kind of thing. Wait. I think it actually is because I can hear it like clicking every time I go past. <gasps> it does. So I can just go in here and... Oh my God. Yes. I can just grab that straight in here and then go over here and cook it. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Glug, 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 glug. Okay, so I've been doing a little bit of collecting. As you can see, I've got a copper little chest here. Um, I need to stop bloody carrying this around. I've got a little quartz chest, titanium in here. I know I need a lot more. Um, I've got miscellaneous, which is anything that I kind of built, like enamel glass, plasteel, all that kind of good stuff. Then we have some rare ores. I know they're not fully rare, but it's just miscellaneous ores that I'm not going to be using a lot unless I'm crafting. And that's kind of really much it. So I've been collecting all the fish. They've just kind of been like randomly just jumping in here when I've been like sorting this storage out. So what I want to do now is I want to find a little location. Not somewhere far from the pod. We can kind of set up a little base. It, it might be our main base. It might not be. I don't know. But I want to get a nice place. It's got to look lush, you know? And a lot more, and a, and a lot of space for us to 
extend down or up. But also needs to be in reach of solar panels because that's what's going to power us for now. For now. Okay, so I found a little location. Um, and I think it's going to be alright. It's kind of a little further away than I thought I was going to do. But I'm just going to grab some basic supplies. For what I know what, that we need. in the, Especially in the first one. And then I'm going to go here. And then we can kind of push towards that way. Because there's, there's quite a bit of a drop as well. So let's kind of put down our first... I guess we can make this our entrance, right? Put that down there. And then we need our hatch to actually get in. And then I want to build a... Maybe a multi-purpose room for now. Uh, which can go there. Which is supported as well. We can see the legs on the ground, which is a good thing. And then I think that's what we kind of might go for now. But I have noticed this sea truck dock in here. Which requires titanium ingots, advanced wiring kits, and four glass. Which is a lot, to be honest. Which is a lot. So I need to grab some copper, because I need that for the solar panels. Then I can just build these on top of the, the multi-purpose room. I think I might need one. I might put two down, just in case. I'm going to put this one over here. Hopefully it's enough. Wait, what do I need? Wait, what am I missing here? Am I missing titanium... Oh, I'm missing titanium and quartz. Okay, but yeah, we've got them as neighbours. So we might hear them every now and again, but... I think it'll be fine. Let's grab some more titanium. A couple more quartz. And then we can finish this off. So now that'll help us with the power. So let's head inside here. And... We have our little... Aboard, first base. So we have one room to kind of primarily go off, right? We can just put down whatever we need to in here. So let's have a look what we can build. And I think the first thing we're going to need is a fabricator, which we have enough for. So that's going to be our first thing to do. Can I put this on one of these walls? Actually, in the corridor. Um, Yeah, let's put it in the corridor for now. And I think we're going to need to go and get some more quartz. Because quartz and titanium are definitely the things we need to build for, like, inside houses. Uh, Now that a jukebox. Oh, yeah, we picked that up at the island place didn't we battery charger we need that because i've got one two three empty batteries here i just need to get some silver and to be honest with us being right on the edge of this biome we should have silver lying around so right there any silver oh it's titanium but i might as well grab the quartz whilst we're here i, I don't think it's a bad spot for our, our base as well we've got plenty of room there's not much things that can obstruct us. So I'm kind of happy with that. Okay, so I went out and got quite a bit of uh, items. So I want to put down a storage now, to be honest, because I picked up quite a few um, quartz. Because that biome is full of quartz, um, lithium, sulfur, and I picked up some titanium as well. So look at all these quartz that we got. Uh, but now... I've just made the uh, wiring kit, so we sh we can make a battery charger. Can I put this on the here? It'd be nice if I could. Anyway, let's just put it at the side here. So this is kind of, you know, I'll be leaving from here. You might as well make sure I'm fully recharged. And now... I can just go into here and put my dead batteries. So all of them will now charge because we are running pretty low, to be honest. That's why I picked up some more ribbon plants, so we can make some more. So let's grab a couple more items from here. Let's grab... Well, I'm going to need the titanium. And we do need to go on a titanium hunt. And what I'm thinking about doing is... You know that big crash site that we come across? We have to go back there anyway. So I'm thinking about picking up the... Salvage whilst I'm there. For the titanium. And store everything here and just go empty. And just pick as much titanium as I can up. But I'll have to wait for my batteries to recharge because I've literally just um, recharged my um, Sea Glide. Let's put another storage down. Can I put two more down? Two more should be enough for what we need right now. And then I want to see if I can put down a modification table so I can make a Mark 1 depth mod module. 
And for that, I need diamond, titanium, a computer chip, and lead. So we have the titanium. Well, we don't, actually. We've just run out. Uh, we have the diamond. Do we have the lead? I think we might have just run out of lead. And for a computer chip, I need table coral, gold, and copper wire. Right, so I've been out and collected a lot of stuff again. But I had a problem. I couldn't find my way back to my base. So I need to make sure I put a beacon down. And do I have a beacon on me? I do. So let's go and put that like underneath my base so I know where I'm going next time because that was a pain in the butt. I'm not going to lie to you. So let's put that down and then can we name this? And it beacon. Home base. This might be our permanent base. I don't know. Um, I don't think it's in a bad location so we can expand and stuff. You know? But now I can make the computer chip, which is what I went. Uh, I needed to go and get. And then also, I should now be able to make the modification station. So we can throw this down. And then all I need to do is earlier on, I managed to grab enough um, titanium and stuff. So I should be able to make... Ooh. Oh, I just need a battery for that. Oh, I can make the thermal blade now. Nice. We can make that as well. Wait, where's the... Where do I make the Mark 1 depth module thing? Wait, do I make that at the... Do I not make it in the... Where do I make it? I think I might need to go to the... 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 The floaty thing that I made. But, whilst I'm here, I might as well make the thermal blade. Can I use an empty battery for this? Let me see. If I unload that battery from there, I can. Makes more sense to do it that way, right? I know it should be fully charged. Oh, it doesn't need a charge. But anyway, we've got the thermal blade. So that means if I now hit a peeper, we get uh, cooked fish, which is pretty decent. So what I want to do now is go through... Unload these batteries that I've got here and then go into my equipment and just swap them all out for the fresh batteries like so and then put the, the uncharged ones in here so we can kind of keep on top of what we're doing right. Do I only have three extra batteries though? Yeah, because I don't have one in the laser cutter and I don't have one in the flashlight which I can switch around whenever, with whatever's most important, you know. So now I just need to head back over to the pod which is like 500 meters away and go on to the... I'm, I'm going to pick up the uh, the vehicle creator bay thing. The vehicle bay. That, that's what it's called. Okay, so is it on you? Is it on here? Vehicles. Modules. It's not. Where the hell is it? Oh. It's in here. It's in here. Sea truck horsepower upgrade. Ah, uh, right, okay. So now we can make that. Then I can go to my... Access my upgrades. And put that in there. Finally. So now... We can go up to 300 meters. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I should really repair this before someone in the comments is like, Repair your goddamn spoon, bits. I'm doing it, look. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I actually want to pack that up, don't I? I want to pack that up, take it with us, and then I can release it here, which is kind of close to the the icebergs, but right above my home base. So, I think that's pretty decent. Pretty decent. We've got batteries recharging. We've got a fabricator in here. We've got a little bit of storage, modification table. I would like to go for the ultra-high capacity tank, but we need to find it. And then also synthetic fibers. I need to find out where to get that kind of melon spiral plant clipping thing from here. I don't know where to get that. So that is going to be something I think I need to go and look at, at plants wise. Either that or it's on another island. Robin, I have something important to share. Oh, another artifact. Yes, although... You cannot know for sure what it is, but it is certainly of significant... I was trying to get a thumbnail! I know. What? Signal location uploaded to PDA. You just give me another signal. Is that another artifact? 
It is PK8. I was literally trying to get a thumbnail and then this guy started speaking. Bloody Alan. So I think that's the perfect time to actually leave this video here. We've got the sea truck upgraded. We've got some more rooms, well, two uh, uh, additional compartments. We've got the storage and the aquarium, but also we've set up our new base, which I think is a good time to call it. So we've got the batteries in there, we've got some storage, but as we go on an adventure now, we can put more things in our storage and our, uh, our sea spoon and bring it back to base. So check out my other content right here, and I will see you in another video. And as always, keep smiling. <laughs>